YouTube, it's Maddie the Emptiness Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. If it's your first time, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, I really hope you'll uh, take a minute to subscribe and join me again. If you're returning, I am super glad you came back. And today is an embarrassing look at my crazy obsession with watercolor uh, I'm sorry, water soluble crayons. There it is. That's how I um, label it in my stash. This is a drawer that I just pulled out. Um, and it comes from a storage unit that stores um, iris containers. And a nifty little trick that I learned from Lindsay the Frugal Crafter is you can just pull off, this is the back side where you would pull off um, the cover and then you could use it as a open drawer and you could save those covers and click them back on if at some point you change your mind and want to store it differently. However, I digress. This is an embarrassing look at a ton of different water soluble crayons. I don't need this large of a collection. I'm not sure anybody needs this large of a collection. However, here we are. So what I'm going to do is put this aside and show you one by one what I have in my watercolor stash. So this is a little box that I saved from a Creative Memories card kit. And in here, I've got a lovely little collection of uh, gelatos. So uh, some of them are gelatos and some of them are gel sticks. Or maybe I have the gel sticks I believe I have the gel sticks actually in a different container. We'll find out when I go through all the containers and uh, take a look. So these were the very first ones that I had. And uh, when I first got them, I didn't know what to do with them. Um, they are pretty fun, but I have to tell you, they're not my favorites. So putting that aside, I think this one holds the gel sticks. So the gel sticks, this is a box that I received when I bought my blender brushes um, that were initially intended for makeup. So I guess this is a makeup box. And I felt that the gel sticks fit inside pretty well. And there they are. So it wasn't enough that I had the gelatos for some bizarre reason. Since I saw a review that said the gel sticks were just as good, I had to have both because the gel sticks were less expensive. And uh, I did actually purchase the metallics in these as well. So it wasn't a big investment and I did get some diversity. I don't have any other um, water soluble crayons that are um, metallic and uh, there's a nice selection there um, and if you've never seen a gelato or a gel stick here's what they look like they're sort of uh, like a lipstick and you just screw it up like a lipstick and some material comes out and the um, the pigment is a stick with a flat top, which can sometimes be a challenge. So those are the two, uh, first two that I ever purchased. And uh, I really did enjoy using the medium, but I also did um, want to work with something similar that I could actually control a little bit better. And by that, I mean something that had a point. And this 
now I don't know how to pronounce it, but these are um, Stablio, I think. I consider them watercolor crayons, but they're probably watercolor pencils in chubby form. I just love going to these. They do come to a relative point and they do come with a sharpener. So if you really want more control and a sharper point, um, that's available to you. So they are encased in wood, just like a pencil. There are a variety of colors. They are meant for children, but hey, I'm just a big kid and I super love playing with those. So I had seen some reviews a while back for um, these Prima oil pastels. So if you're a real artist, these are all different things, I guess. But to me, they're all water soluble crayons. Let me know what the differences are, if you know what they are. So um, I wanted to see if these guys, since they were considered oil pastels and not water soluble crayons, if they were different to use. And the one thing I can say for sure is are that these absolutely go on creamiest. Um, the uh, the Faber Castell are pretty creamy, but these are really creamy. And if you enjoy that kind of texture, um, this is your jam. So it looks like this. Let me see if I can get the Prima easier for you to see. Um, it comes to a relative point and uh, it's a lot easier to control than the flat tops. I really like these. They were a nice set, a good value. I think there's 24 here. I think I paid like $18. Um, pretty certain that this particular set um, doesn't come in this configuration anymore, but I know for a fact that, uh, or at least at one time when this, uh, first started disappearing, um, they did, uh, offer two sets of 12 and I, I would bet that they're exactly the same thing. So, um, that's the story with that one. Uh, and then since I enjoyed them so much, I got into my head that I wanted the be all end all Karen Dash, um, Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. Now, if you are interested in this medium at all, I know that you know what these are. If you are a crafter that really is not all that familiar, not that interested in this kind of medium, I'll let you peek in and see what, what is here. So I just need to turn it around to open it for you. And here they are. I believe the full set um, has like 80 something colors. This is a set of 30. Um, and they are just lovely, lovely water soluble crayons. They, um, they are highly, highly pigmented and they absolutely dissolve in water beautifully. Now a crafter at my level I don't know if I need to have these ridiculously expensive crayons in my stash, but here we are. That being said, with all of those water soluble crayons, I recently put in my 
Amazon wish list right before Mother's Day, so I knew I would get it. This set of three Dina Wakely scribble sticks, and they are her water soluble crayons. So I believe this is her newest offering. I have to say at least that I believe I do not have a lot of these colors. They are muted. Some of them seem like they are somewhat metallic. I did swatch them. I don't remember exactly. I would have to look back at the swatches, but I do believe they are at least a little bit different than the colors that I have already in my stash. Um, the other two, and I believe this is all that um, Dina Wakely offers three sets, are uh, more of your basic colors. Um, this was the first set that she put out and has a black and a white and uh, most of the primaries, a couple of um, uh, easy mixes, uh, light blue, uh, green, like the orange, um, and then the primaries. But uh, this was the second set and these are darker tones. I'm sure if you're an artist, you know which ones are warm, which ones are cool. Maybe one set is warm, one set is cool. I don't know. I'm not an artist and I shouldn't have this many materials, but here we are again. So the reason I decided to share this ridiculous, overindulgent stack of materials with my friends here on YouTube is that I thought I would follow this up perhaps with a comparison. Mainly, I want to find out for myself how crazy am I? Are any of these different from the others? If you're interested in a video like that, please comment below, let me know. If you have a collection like this, please post it. Misery Loves Company. I want to know if there's someone else out there that has this many of the same thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hopefully, I'll find some sort of reason to have this many of the same type of medium. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoy this medium. How many sets do you have? And uh, if you're new, please um, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. And also, do not forget, let me know if you're interested in a comparison video. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, YouTube.